Is it time to buy or sell Apple stock? Delve deeper into Apple with our latest analysis. Our initial report was released on Thursday, March 28, 2024, and we're here to provide you with a more comprehensive overview. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay ahead of crucial updates that could impact your investments. Optimize your trading decisions by leveraging our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies globally today. Please remember, this video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. Since March 27, 2024, our system has identified Apple as a sell candidate with a score of minus 2.14. Now, let's examine how the stock has performed during this period. The stock has shown a loss of minus 1.06%. On average, this equates to a daily loss of minus 0.53% since being labeled as a sell candidate. The stock is currently experiencing a downward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further decline. Over the next three months, there is a projected minus 9.95% change, with a possible return ranging between minus 13.82% and minus 5.38%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a forecasted 5.67% change, offering a potential return between 4.55% and 25.54%. This could result in a price range of $179.28 to $215.28 after a year. Our latest update on Apple reveals that the stock price decreased by 1.06% on Thursday. The Apple stock price dropped from $173.31 to $171.48 on Thursday, March 28, 2024. Throughout the trading day, it ranged from a low of $170.51 to a high of $172.23, showing a 1.01% fluctuation. Over the past two weeks, there has been a 0.88% loss in price. Trading volume increased by 6 million shares on the last day, indicating a potential risk in the coming days. A total of 65 million shares were exchanged, valued at around $11.07 billion. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price was $199.62, while the lowest was $159.78. Currently, the price is 14.1% lower than the 52-week high, amounting to $28.14, and 24.88% lower than the all-time high on August 30, 2018, when it hit $228.26. Analyst Ratings On Friday, March 22, 2024, Wedbush upgraded Apple to outperform with a hold recommendation. On Friday, March 22, 2024, Morgan Stanley rated Apple as overweight with a hold recommendation. On Friday, March 22, 2024, Evercore ISI gave Apple an outperform rating with a hold recommendation. On Monday, March 18, 2024, Bank of America Securities labeled Apple as a buy with a hold recommendation. On Monday, March 18, 2024, KeyBank rated Apple as sector weight with a hold recommendation. Analysts have collectively assigned Apple stock a strong buy rating. They consider the P-E ratio and price to book as strong buy as well. In terms of return on investment, the analysts also give the stock a strong buy recommendation. Apple has shown some notable signals recently. A buy signal emerged from a pivot bottom on Thursday, March 7, 2024, resulting in a 1.47% increase. The potential for further growth remains until a new top pivot is identified. Additionally, a buy signal is present from the three-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD. Despite some negative signals that could impact short-term progress, the stock currently holds sell signals from both short- and long-term moving averages, suggesting a more pessimistic outlook. Moreover, the relationship between the two signals indicates a general sell signal, with the long-term average surpassing the short-term average.
Resistance levels at $172.52 and $177.44 may pose challenges on corrections upward, but a breakthrough above these levels could trigger by signals. Notably, volume increased during the recent price decline, warranting closer monitoring of the stock. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 16 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 16 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 43 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 41 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 8 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 32 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 24 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Apple. Apple is currently finding support from accumulated volume at $171.37. This level could present a buying opportunity as we might see an upward reaction when the support is tested. The stock typically trades at a good volume, with minor daily changes, indicating low risk. In the last day, Apple moved $1.72, 1.01%, between its high and low points. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 1.47%. Let's start by examining some essential fundamental data before discussing potential trading levels for Apple. The price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio, is a key metric that compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. This P-E ratio is within the normal range, often seen in established businesses with consistent revenue streams. Looking ahead, Apple's Q1 2024 earnings report is scheduled for May 02, 2024. Analysts' average estimate for earnings is $1.50. Pay close attention to these figures as they can significantly impact stock prices. Now, let's explore potential day trading levels for Apple. In an upward trend, the first resistance level for Apple is at $172.62. Wait for this level to be breached before entering a position if you don't own any shares. For current stockholders, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Apple faces its first support level at $171.37. If this support level holds, it could serve as a good entry point, with the anticipation of a rebound. Apple's combined average rating from multiple analysts is a strong buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On February 28, 2024, Wagner Susan bought 15 16 shares of restricted stock unit. On February 28, 2024, Sugar Ronald D purchased 15 16 shares of restricted stock unit. On February 28, 2024, Lozano Monica C. acquired 15 16 shares of restricted stock unit. On February 29, 2024, Levinson Arthur D. sold 100,000 shares of common stock. On February 28, 2024, Levinson Arthur D. bought 15 16 shares of restricted stock unit. After analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power ratio stands at minus 18.474. In total, Insiders bought 2,189,268 shares and sold 3,211,238 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Apple stock a good buy? Apple currently shows negative signals and is in a falling trend, indicating weak performance in the near future. Our evaluation of this stock is negative. Analysis of recent volatility and movement suggests that the current price is considered overvalued. For trading on Monday, April 1st, Apple is expected to open down $0.0733 and start trading at $171.41.
It's important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. Before making any investment decisions, it's advisable to consult with a financial advisor. Stockinvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment actions. Presenting our current analysis of the stock. Share your agreement or disagreement in the comments below and let us know your target price for the stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Wishing you successful trading and a wonderful day from all of us at Stock Invest.